Oh, life in the desert. You find any tools on the side of the road, Billy? Oh. Found a pair of lineman's flyers. We found a turn signal. Hot flyers, two bungee cords, and a truck weight. One may ask what we're doing here in the middle of the desert. You know what we're doing here? Oh my God. We're dealing with the breaking down van. The van broke down. She broke down. She's junk. We stopped at a rest stop a few miles back just before Chiraco Pass, Chiraco Summit. And I put it in the drive, and she went, Ew. and I said, that ain't the way a Honda van with a rebuilt tranny is supposed to go into drive. Well, a few miles up the road, there you go. Yahoo! She dumped all her bright red transmission oil. It's got the auxiliary transmission cooler, and I don't know if a line popped because the battery's dead. Again. My friend that called the tow truck for us earlier says, why don't you get a new battery? You got a big trip ahead of you. I said, nah, she'll charge it up. She'll be fine. I don't know if the transmission line blew or the seal for the torque converter on the crankshaft went completely. No idea. I can get my hands down there. I can feel wet hoses, but there's wet hoses everywhere. And I try to crank her up and she went and is not the sound you want to hear when you want to crank her up in the middle of the desert. Ready? Earlier she went and now she goes click, click. You know, if we could put that tailgate and fender and bumper together and maybe some part of these junk wheels here, we could make it a Beverly Hillbillies mobile and ride back to somewhere. We made it exactly 60 miles, 100 kilometers, and we are on the side of the road. Yeah. How many wrecks have we driven back and forth across the country? Yeah, four, five, six, seven, and the best one of the bunch with a rebuilt transmission. Yeah. Dies. Dead. Junk. Yeah. The nicest van. We've driven it a thousand miles, sixteen hundred kilometers, through thick and thin, well, through the desert, mind you. And all of a sudden, we are on the side of the road, dead with transmission oil everywhere. Well, at least it's rust proof with nice red transmission oil. And what happened? I have no idea. And I can't start her because the battery's dead. I turned it off a couple times before, but the battery must be strong enough to go rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Love it. We're on the side of the road, dead, junk, and a cop just drove by and didn't even stop, nothing. Yahoo! <laughs> Two hours later, not easy finding a tow truck with a crew cab, and I don't see the crew cab part. I guess we're going to have to be riding. You have to ride in that inner fender of that Tornado, Mr. Billy. State trooper showed up a half an hour ago. We were here for an hour and a half. One cop went by. I guess he was too busy, but we're going to get hooked up with a cable and a winch. And I'm reading on the different websites what the transmission problems are with these Honda Odysseys. Car transmission in a truck, van, but I don't know, it could be an oil line popped. Who knows? No truck to the rescue. Crank that baby up. An electric winch, a big strong hook, and a cable, and up she goes. In the olden days, they used to do it with a hand crank winch. Winch. Honda. Yeah, that's a PTO winch. Not an electric winch. Lovely. We tried. Why did you have to come back this way? We were trying to go east and just we couldn't go. We couldn't go. We couldn't go. Yeah. We could have been sleeping in a nice comfy bed at a comfort inn. Instead of where are we? At some dog house in Cathedral City. We're gonna sleep at the dog house, Billy. Yeah, we try to go, we try to go, we try to go, we couldn't go, we couldn't go, we couldn't go. What happened to this thing? Who knows? We just put some oil in it. Actually, no. 
we just put the booster pack on it at the gas station. We stop to fill up with some diesel. And we put it in gear. She goes into reverse and drive. The transmission rocks back and forth. And it's not leaking a drop of oil. Not a drop. But it was coming out, let me tell you, when we pulled over, it was smoking and dripping from every direction. What's wrong now? I have no idea. None. Don't know. Shifting solenoid. Case cracked. The rubber hose went. It'd still be leaking. It's low on oil, but not empty. Who knows? We don't know. We'll find out in the morning. Honda Junk. Should have brought the Grand Prix. Bought a suburban. Cukes its guts again. Grapes! All right, let it scrape. Tailpipe. Ah. Woo! Trying to make the house look nice. <laughs> I assure you, no one's going to come here and say we love the house, but that scrape in the driveway. Could you polish that? Uh, I got a power plant. It was scraping off the rust stain. Decrease the angle, make it flatter so that tailpipe. Man knows how to manipulate that ramp. Down she goes. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Two cameras going. <laughs> Beautiful thing. Like I said, not my first rodeo. That's the part I don't like about the tow truck business. Lying underneath, especially in the snow and salt. Oh, you don't have that here. Hmm, maybe I'll move here and get a tow truck. Oh my, my, my. All right, we're all done. Express towing, thank you for doing a good, courteous job in a non-smoking cab. There's the oil. Lots of good Honda spec transmission oil. Oh well. Away she goes. One dead shiny Honda. 50th anniversary of the Ford here. Too bad the Honda's a piece of junk. That's the way it goes. We'll fix her up. Goodbye, express color. Whoop! Thank you, Mario. Good job. Job well done. Delivered. Perfectly parked. Like nothing ever happened. Thanks for that for us, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's been a cold night in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. It's been cold there.